the hell was that? <laughs> Alright, those of you there, you've already been playing with the equipment. <laughs> Alright, I was just about to say, can you light up the ball that you... Oh, I haven't moved. We've got two balls and the music box going off now. I don't know what that was, but... There's a staircase behind you. Well, there's nothing there. Thankfully. <laughs> that you can see. That I can see. The following video is not a polished episode. It is purely the highlights from a live stream investigation. These videos are designed to show you some unique places, give you the history, and give you any happenings that we might have had. Are they paranormal? We'll let you decide. Okay, this is a big thing, mm -hmm. is tonight we are not wearing Haunted Horizons t-shirts. No, we're not. We are wearing, excuse me while I show you our chests, because tonight <laughs> we are wearing Wicklow Jail Paranormal, Paranormal t-shirts. How cool is that? Because Wicklow Jail actually gave them to us as a present, which was thank so you. lovely of them. So thank you, Wicklow Jail. We are strapped a bit to them. We are. <laughs> so tonight we are wearing these. Now apparently you were saying when was it built? Oh it was built in 1702. Yep and when did it shut? Um, 1924 when it closed. It did close down for a short while in 1900 but it was reopened so 1924 when it finally closed. Yeah now this wasn't really the front of the jail this is the only part of the jail that is left, so they've recreated the front to look like what it used to. This is actually a back side of the jail, one of the cell blocks that was um, kept. And up at the top is a recreation. I'm just going to try and bring it up for you. <laughs> so they would bring them out the door, put the noose around the neck, and then they would kick them off the edge and that would break the necks. So, and of course, the public would be standing here waiting for the entertainment mm -hmm. for the day, pretty much like the Adelaide Jail, so it's no different from anywhere else. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take you for a little walk around, show you the inside of the jail. Hopefully, we will be able to get... I'm just trying to get this so I can see everybody. So if we go on in... Now we did eat in that calf today and they do the best lemon meringue. Oh, to die. Don't they? Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right, so let's have a look through here. This is the cell block. I'm going to try and light it up for you just so you can have a look. So it's three stories. There, you've got that top one up there. A middle section and then this bottom one here and the cells are so okay go and stand in that cell doorway that's ghost tube look how small <laughs> how small Actually, these are the time I've ever reached the top of anything hey tiny aren't they and you're what five foot four five foot four so they have all these little displays as you come in this one made me jump earlier because they did have the voices on, which told, tell stories when you come in. It'll tell you stories about certain um, residents here. Of course, mannequins just make it all more a little bit creepy. Now, one of the very first ones here was a priest, Catholic priest. So, um, because obviously, um, going back when it was built, unfortunately the English did try and stop people from practicing Catholicism, is yeah. that the word? Catholicism. So, the, one of the first people in here was one of the Catholic priests. Um, it is actually really creepy. 
as well. I yeah. think it's because I know it's... I've got a torch on, guys, but um, we have already been doing. I'm going to tell them we have already been doing some investigating. We have, and we were down in the dungeons. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and um, we possibly we've got some possibly EVPs as well, haven't we? I have quite a lot of moans yeah. and EVP stuff down there, so was... which was rather interesting and yeah. rather creepy. Just trying to set ourselves up so we've got some light. Um, now, I'm not even in front of that. Why does that go off? We've had a lot, you see I'm here. If I put my foot in front of it like that. Mm. I was about there. It might be me guys. What the hell was that? What was that? Now I haven't even moved my foot. I'm right no. back here. I'm not even in line with it. Alright, well. Okay. The other thing is we've had equipment going off while we were setting up. The flux wouldn't shut up. It kept going to red and no all the time. We had a ball go off. It's very unusual. Never seen it do that before. I'm just gonna What the hell? Do you think it'd be too close to a wall or? Sorry? Do you think it's too close to the wall? No, it's on the foot either side. Okay. If I put my, uh, do you want a red light on it? I put my torch on it. Green would be better. Green? Red just blurs out the lens. It's almost in the middle of the thing. I should, should that should be fine. Get that then. While we're setting up, because things yeah. seem to be going off, which is always the way. Right. Oh, the ball! We've not been anywhere near that. No. This is solid stone floor. If I did what I was doing before, which is this. Yeah. Undecided. Undecided? Well, you undecided. That's three bits of equipment you played with. Are you undecided on which piece of equipment you like? Anybody here? That is a mannequin, mannequin in that cell, by the way. Feel free to set the music off again. Are you from here? I'm not from here, no. That's the ghost tube, guys. I'm actually from Australia. Do you know Australia? I believe a lot of prisoners from here were sent to Australia. Oh, Samantha had a necklace pulled off. Down there. <gasps> Did pendant. you pendant? Did you just hear what Ghost Tube just said, Samantha? So what did she say? She said I had a I had a necklace pulled off me down there on a daytime tour and then it just said pendant. Yeah. Wow, that's cool. Well we weren't gonna investigate just yet, we were gonna show you around, but this is how you get this Oh, it's just said no. Flux. Okay. Didn't even make the sound though. Organ. There's an organ. If anybody here wants to talk to us, you can do it through any of this equipment. I'm just going to turn to green, lower it down. The music box just down here. If I step forward, I've got to step right yes, forward by the way guys. You can make that music go off. 
probably show you better up here to the top floors now what I'm going to do is I'll show you around a little bit more I'll see if I can get into the dungeons without losing you this level up here the very top level did that just turn off? yeah well the camera? yeah alright the video camera's just turned off that's where if you had a mental health issue the criminally insane were put up there top level so we're going to go up there later Try yeah, I was going to tell them about some of the ghost stuff first. Yeah. So what we got told here is cell two. Now cell two is over here. They said the education room. Um, so I'm not sure if that's one, but they did say cell two when they were taking us around. It's thought to have a little girl in there. In fact, they actually watched a lady having her clothing pulled. And they actually watched the clothing being pulled. <laughs> so, if a lot of people pick up on a child. Is that attic? So this door over here, um, Colleen opened it for the first time and she said it felt like something rushed her and she said the smell was horrible because she said it was almost like ammonia and stale urine and sweat to the point where her eyes were watering. She said she's also on the stairs seen a white misty form going up the stairs here and she said it went right up the stairs right up to the top floor up there and disappeared into about the third cell in. So let's see if we can get you down the dungeon. If we flick off yeah, we are leaving actually. Yeah, we yeah, are. we're just leaving, but we'll be back. So let's go down and have a look at the dungeons. I'm going to put it on green. It's a rickety staircase, so I've just got to make sure I don't fall down. There. Hopefully, it's not too bad and it's not freezing too much. Is that saying kill up there? Hell. Actually, it says here. What? Upstairs, it says to go to dungeon to hell. Oh, what's it say? Up okay, here, there's a sign. I'm going to go and get the exact words. Hold on. Alright, you've got ghost tube saying hell. Hell. Alright, the sign says the dungeon this way to hell. And that's what the sign says. This way to hell. Lost. Lost. Alright, so what I'm trying to show you in here before I cut out is you can see a man in the bath there. And looks very nice except this man here is shoveling coal into this furnace here, this fire. Now that's because, it's not because they want him to be comfortable, it's because they used to boil the water. So there used to be some horrendous things go on down here. Um, this cell here was the solitary confinement. Now we're underground so I may freeze up a bit. Kay got me with this, she said, have a look in here. It's a bit strange in this cell, she said. So I did. And that was there. And I think I screamed a lot. <laughs> so, Cag thinks that looks like Boris Johnson. <laughs> so, um, and in here, now this is where it got interesting earlier tonight because we had a lot of sounds and a lot of stuff happening in here.
There's a funny thing happened in there as well. Oh, they go, the gates of hell. So this is where torture took place and lots of other brutal. This gentleman here is the most interesting. Meet the traveling hangman. I don't know if you can see, there's a man choking on his back. So, Hempenstall, he was about seven foot tall. He was a lieutenant in the Wicklow militia. And he seemed to relish too much um, hanging people. So sometimes he'd occasionally throw a person over his shoulder with a rope around the neck and hang them from his shoulders. And he was renowned for doing it to even peasants that he didn't like. All right, we're going to go back up where the equipment is. There's another area called the ship, which has been made into a ship. I don't know if you want to go and look at that. It's up at the very top, though. And I say we want to do a little bit of investigating, so... Go don't go there. <laughs> oh, my goodness. That's pretty cool. All right, that actually is quite relevant. When I was talking about the ship, it used to be the chapel, so they've made it into a ship and apparently whatever's up there doesn't like women and it's the one place that women feel a little bit threatened up there so we've just we just had to go through just as i said about the ship we can go up there it's, it she it just came out with don't go up there do you want to hold that more? yeah talking of ebp do you want to do some yeah i should do it. okay Let's do some. all right in our new t-shirts. How cool are these t-shirts? Oh I love my t-shirts. More. More? All right, those of you there, you've already been playing with the equipment. <laughs> Music box. Yeah. Cool. Thank you. Right on cue to me saying it as well. So, I've got a little box here. Got a little orange light on it. You come up to that box. I'm going to put it down here. Look. Trapped. All right. If you go up to that little box, that's my stomach tag. You might be able to put your name on there and let us know who you are. Yeah, I had that as well. My name's Alison. My name's Cag. False. No, I'm not lying. My name is Alison. Uh, Douglas. Douglas. It's probably because I'm not using my real name. Oh, true. Mm. I heard that people they were exhibiting what they would have called insanity back then were put up on the top floor up here and the you weren't looked after by the guards you were looked after by other prisoners especially the women who were put up there with mental health issues we call it mental health issues now No, it's not it's quite, isn't it? It's really like... weird because when we were downstairs, we were waiting for it to get dark. So we went down in the dungeon because we didn't think we'd get much reception down there. And the amount of... Um, Sounds that we heard. Moaning. It was mm. almost like moan, constant moaning. And I think it, we asked a question about Australia. Did you get sent to Australia? And we got a whispery... No. Yeah. Um, which obviously they didn't, but still here. Mm -hmm. So I oh, think, yeah, very weird. 
Um, Liz, don't worry about anybody being trapped here, being um, wanting to cross side with the fact she had people yeah, come and do that. Yeah. If, yeah. If, yeah. if, the, if anybody much, wants to leave. Um, they've had lots of people come in to do that. The ones that are here are here for whatever reason. They're, yeah, no, they've, they've done that. A lot of um, people that are in jails or prisons for a long time actually get institutionalised. It's what they know, wasn't they it? A lot felt, of it. Yeah, they, they would re-offend in life anyway because it was their safe place. Mm. Um, so it's all, it's all being looked at. Yeah, That's so it's we all good. We were talking about with them earlier. So, mm -hmm. so yeah, those who wanted to go went. In fact, they did the clear. What did they say? They did the um, some. Did the clearing and then five minutes later it was doing stuff again. Yeah. <laughs> so, sometimes they're here for whatever reason. Yeah. And we just see if they want to chat to us and tell us why. Mm -hmm. So that's all we do, a bit of fishing. We notice the equipment's not even going off now. No. It's almost like it's like, what's this? What's this? What's this? Boring. <laughs> Thank you, Ghost Tube. <laughs> Amy. <laughs> Boring. It's pretty cool to come here and find out that she used Ghost Tube here. Yeah. Wasn't that? that Actually, was really cool. it was interesting because they were showing us a bit of, and sometimes I'll just chat because sometimes I try and get your attention back. They showed us some video footage earlier and <laughs> it was really interesting because they showed it and they had Ghost Tube written across it. <laughs> on the phone but you actually see a shadow walking down the hallway and then through a wall which is really cool and that was on ghost you all right if there is anybody here don't mind us we're only here to chat and just see if anybody wants to chat to us we'd love to talk to you hear your stories Okay, I just come get her headphones. More on my own now. What was that? What was that? That wasn't Keg, by the way. She was still walking out. Did you just hear that? That's Keg. Just came from the dungeon area. Just as you were going out, there was a noise. In the Where dungeon. from? Uh, yeah. From the dungeon it's area. Just Goodbye, Jen. <laughs> it's the second ball she's kicked. Are you okay? <laughs> I'm okay, thank you. And about the ball, though. Hi. Hello. Hi. So there's a boy here. My name is Cag. What's your name? That's not Alison setting that off, by the way. So that's the musical box going off, and Alison's nowhere near it. So there's a little boy here. Dead. Oh, that's not good, is it? Can you tell me what your name is, sweetheart? My name is Cag, and that's Alison. What's your name? Signal Frank. the ball. We'll signal the ball that's next to Alison that keeps going off. Um, she did kick it earlier, so it's probably glitching now. Okay, so do you want to play, if you stand in front of the musical box, it'll play a longer tune. So you could do that for us, please. We've got a cat ball going off in a room just over there. Can you see that down there, guys? That's a different one altogether. How many children are here? 
Can you tell me that, please? How many children? Comfortable. Are you comfortable? Oh, well, that's good. Can you go and touch Alison's hair for me, please? Oh, go that was a leave. Okay, so you don't want us to stay. Why did you warn us not to go upstairs to the ship area? What will happen if we go up there? Can you tell us? That's the one. That's the one? Is that the one that you don't want us to go to? What will happen if we go there? Jump. You said it. I almost just said jump. That's what they used to hope the ladies would do. They'd put on the third floor up there. The ones that they had their mental health issues. They hoped they put them up there so they would jump. So they didn't have to look after them anymore, which is a horrible, horrible thing. So what's going to happen to us? Oh. oh. Oh bless her, she doesn't realise it's been going on for ages. Because she stood on it. Trapped. <laughs> Music box going off. What was your crime? Can you tell me what you, you were accused of? No, she's going for walk, so she's going to stand on everything now. How are you? What do you want? I just want to know how you are. noise down there. Could have been Alison against the wall. How old are you? Do you know that? Or how old were you when you were alive? How old were you? Sit. I would love to sit. Unfortunately there isn't a chair here. Ready to come out. Okay. Are you ready to come out? Are you ready to join us? There were lots of people in here. Do you know what year it was when you were here? Who is that? Well, my name is Cag. So this little boy here, what's your name, sweetheart? Oh, ball going off over here again. Naked. You could well be the one playing with the music box. Cold. Oh. You would be cold if you were naked. I've got two boys, and their names John and Tom. What's your name? Tears. You're crying. There's no need to cry. Coming to get me. Okay. What's coming to get us? Not too much. No? Nothing? It's been fairly interesting. I mean, nothing, you know, gobsmackingly superb, but, you know, some interesting things. I reckon we go and do... We've had the music box go off. Oh, have you? I told them. I told them to go off. And the... The ball, yeah, ball. that's, yeah, ball, 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 ball. I know, that one's been going off. Oh. No, the ball, next to you, you kicked it, that yeah, it was kept going off all the time. But this one here has been going off on and on. Off. So. The ball over here too. Okay, well that's interesting. We've got two going off simultaneously now. But that one and that one, and they're just going. Fantastic. All right, I was just about to say, can you light up the ball that you... Oh, I haven't moved. We've got two balls and the music box going off now. <laughs> okay. That's three bits of equipment. <laughs> That's, That's pretty cool. Thank you. 
I can't leave you the music box, unfortunately. And, and I've got a doll as well I bought with me, so. Alright, so you stop with that ball. Can you stop with this one as well? Just for a minute. I don't want you to stop completely. Excellent. Alright, you've got two balls. Now that one's going off. Now it's going simultaneously. Which ball? Can we stop that one as well? Right, because I'm going to see which one you want to keep. If you can stop. Alright, there's a tap on this door behind me. Mm -hmm. Did you hear that? Yeah, I did. Okay. It's in this area. <laughs> can I go and get a doll? Yeah. Do you want to take this and I'll go and get a doll and we can we'll sit on the floor and play. Yeah. See now the balls have stopped. Oh, now I'm nowhere near it. Was that you set it up? No, I was nowhere near it. Didn't move. Shall I do it here? I notice the balls have stopped now, though. Yeah. Well, why don't you do it here? It seems to be where the knocks and the balls and the music box is going off. Some, um, some toys here to play with. So there's a little girl and there's a little cow there if you want to play with them. So I've heard there's a possible little girl down here. No, that's none of us. We've not moved. Do you like what I've bought you? Is it a little doll pretty? The little cow is getting old, but it's really nice, isn't it? Well, she should have said. I'm sorry, the cow is getting old. <laughs> oh, yeah. Did you know any nursery rhymes? Shall we sing the nursery rhyme together? I know. How about Rina Rina Roses? Shall we sing that one? Okay, you ready? Rina Rina Roses, a pocket full of posies, a tissue, a tissue, we all fall down. Can you sing that for me? All right, what I'm going to do, I'm going to turn this off now. If you have been talking to me, thank you so much. We're going to leave you a ball behind as a present from us. All right. I'll take, oh, and the ball at the same time. That ball hasn't been going off in the whole no. time. Okay, let me just turn that off. Oh, take three hours to get off the floor. <laughs> 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 Alright, so that's it. That's easy. If you have been talking to me, thank you so much. We're going to leave you a ball behind as a present from us. Alright? Okay, oh, and the ball at the same time. That ball hasn't been going off. Either. No. Okay. I mean, Not much EVP going on up here, though. No. Is there? Oh God, my knees. <laughs> when did we get so old, Keg? Oh, over <laughs> the last three years. Isn't it? <laughs> it's like everything's gone, knees. Ouch. All right. So we're going to go to where we were standing before, which is over here. God, it's cold down here. It's dropped, hasn't it? Hmm. Right, I'm going to put the voice group in the middle. Oh, God, it's a temperature drop.
It is cold. It is cold down here. It is absolutely, it wasn't before. All right. Uh, yeah, just put it where we did before. Yeah. What about here? Yeah, we put it on the stool. If you could answer our questions, we'd be really grateful. All right, we were down here a little earlier, and we seemed to get somebody talking to us, or trying to talk to us. I'm just wondering if you're still here. Are you still with us? Earlier, when we were down here, I did ask if there was anybody here that was shipped off to Australia, because that's where we're from. And we think we've got an answer. Think you could say that word again for us, please? Were you shipped off to Australia? No, that, wasn't one, that was behind me in this one here. That one over there. We're in Warwick Jail in Ireland, Melissa. Not in Wicklow. Oh, Wicklow. What did you say Warwick for? Oh, we were Warwick the other day, we were weren't Warwick we? Warwick the other day. Oh, tired. So tired, guys. I don't know where I'm coming or going. We had the worst night's sleep last night, didn't we? In the worst beds ever. We did. <laughs> and then had to catch the ferry over to Ireland this morning, so I've been driving. All right. All right, we were down here a little earlier. And we seemed to get somebody talking to us. Something there. Earlier, down here, I didn't ask if there was anybody here that was shipped off to Australia because that's where we're from. And we what, think what was that? Here that was shipped off to Australia because that's where we're from. And we think we've got an answer. <laughs> so just here that was shipped off to Australia because that's where we're from. That's a bit weird. Not like before, is it? No. Before it was almost, we were almost, we did two sessions, didn't we? Mm hmm And it was just... All right, can I just let you know, Amanda, uh, says she thinks the first one was F off. Oh. Okay. And then she said it's just, there's a lot of whispering, and that's what we were having with the other one. That's what we were having with the other one. It was mm. almost like the undertone whispering, and then sometimes the whispering was louder, and you could really get the hang of it's a voice. But it seems to be very noisy down here, mm. as in chatty. Yeah. Type. EVP stuff, whereas upstairs we're not getting any EVP. No. It's all equipment. Mm -hmm. so. oh, fuck. Oh, I spilled something.
So this is upstairs, the very top floor. It's also where the criminally insane were put ladies. In fact, they were told that they were put up here, they were not being looked after by the guards, staff. They were actually put up here and looked after by other prisoners, which you can only imagine wouldn't have been a brilliant idea. No. In fact, there's no safety, there was no safety up here at all. So you can see, unlike the Adelaide jail, which has the netting, this doesn't. And they kind of threw themselves off the top here. Which... Where is this down there? Okay, we can hear somebody down there. Can you make a bit of a louder sound, please? Just to let us know, it is you. You hear that noise in the distance? Know what that was, but thanks for that. Well, there's nothing there, thankfully, <laughs> that you can see. That I can see. That was behind <laughs> I'm not even looking, I'm not even going there. Do me a favour, can you go up the other stairs? Oh, you hear that one, guys? Yes. That was behind you over there. I'll extend to the book behind you. Okay, I'll do that. Amanda, bloody mannequins? I agree. Okay. I think I can say. Yeah, I'm just going to put this here. Top of the stairs. All right, if there is anybody there behind CAG on the stairs, there's a little box with an orange light. Can you kind of maybe put your voice on that? The lady next to the stairs is CAG, and my name's Alison. Can you confirm somebody's there, please? Are there any ladies that used to be in these cells up here where we're standing now? We'd love it if you can come and let us know that you're here. And what were you accused of? What made them bring you up here in the first place? Was that, yeah, I did, but was that inside the building or outside? It was down here. Okay, that was a bit weird then. That was like a growl. And that's what they say they hear. Yeah, they did, didn't they? Growling sounds. Growls and moans. I'm going to stop that before you look at me again. It was too long. I'll listen back to that. Alright, 
It was you, but just before you, before, yeah. there was something on the stairs. Alright, there is anybody here. Cag's now got the headphones on her ears, so you might be able to talk to her. Is there a lady here tonight? I believe the prisoners. Five. Five. The five ladies here. Love. Oh. That was a knock down the other end there. Creaking his keg, shifting weight. Correct. It is correct, yes. C. Noise. Did the prisoners look after you well? The ladies that were in here? I believe the prisoners looked after you on the top floor here. It wasn't the guards. Did they take good care yes. of you? Yes. Oh good, I'm glad they looked after you. We've got to go soon. Oh, that sounds like footsteps down there. You know. Here. Yeah. Look at me. Well, where are you? I can look at you if I know where you are. If I turn around, there's a figure standing behind me. I'm not going to be happy. Let's do it. Let's just make sure. We may. Where are you? Which room are you in? Do you have a cell number? Out. Who wants to leave now? We'd like to talk to you a little bit longer. That's all right. Not. It's not all right, okay. Who's asking us to leave, is it? You finished? No, I'm just scratching my ear. Oh. Sorry. I didn't even know how to saw the light moving. Yeah, I was just playing it. Yeah, just had an itch. Don't stop or? Um, there's not an awful lot coming no. out. Mostly what we're getting is just little knocks and taps and... A lot of it seems to have settled down. What it was earlier. All right. Well, that's it. That's it. It's the end of the night. Go jail. End of the night. Gag. Mm. How cool was that? It was really cool. We've had some <laughs> really interesting things happen. We have. So. The equipment was very interesting. Going off so much of it as well. Mm. Um, but the EVP sessions down the dungeon, I'm looking forward to listening. Oh, I'm so to looking those. forward to yeah. listening to those. Yeah. So we're going to pack up now. 
We've got very little time left. We've got another investigation tomorrow, so we're going to call it a night tonight. But I do want to thank everybody at Wicklow Jail, especially for Colleen as well, for allowing us to come in and do this and for giving us our absolutely brilliant T-shirts. I know. And they fit so lovely. They so feel so like nice, it. yeah. It's, they're beautiful. So expect to see more of these on our live streams. If you're ever in Ireland, especially near the Wicklow area, then definitely come in. They do, they are open during the day and they do tours during the day, so come and visit them. Come and see it. They do do ghost tours as well, or history come ghost, and they do allow investigations as well. So definitely come along and come and visit. Fully recommended. So Fantastic that, place. we're going to pack up. We're going to keep going. You all know it's going to kick off now that we've packed up, but uh, we're going to kick off. Kick on. Kick, kick off. on. I kick don't on. know. I'm so tired now. Yeah. Catch you later. <laughs>